Well, after 25 years, Nintendo have allowed legacy developers Game Freak to upend the Pokemon formula in a way millions of fans have been asking about for decades. An open world full of roaming Pokemon, Pokemon Snap style progression encouraging you to see every last move or animation on offer, even third person shooter-esque boss fights where you whittle enemy health bars down with projectiles while dodging charge attacks. It's a lot to take in, and the vast, vast majority totally works. However, with so much upheaval comes a swath of intricacies and secrets barely flagged by the game itself. I'm Scott from WhatCulture.com, and this is Pokemon Legends Arceus, 10 tips and tricks the game doesn't tell you. Number 10, Pokemon can unlock moves you might not see. Now, if you're anything like me, you hated the one, two, and poof text pop-up that accompanied every time a Pokemon learned any new ability. Alongside being painfully slow when that was still the case in Sword and Shield, for 25 years of mainline titles, we've had creatures able to learn and store four moves at once, with new ones slotting in and whatever that was replacing being forgotten forever. Well, no more. Though you'll have to hit view moves on a Pokemon to see their full array of animations, now Pokemon will learn new moves that appear underneath the four they have equipped. Only visible on this screen, you're free to swap a creature set around to your heart's content. They'll never forget anything anymore, and even better, swapping a move out and back in restores all of its power points. Number 9. Throw past a Pokemon for an easy catch bonus. Part of Arceus' new catching mechanics comes from aiming directly at a creature in the field and hoping for the best. You can get an invisible percent catch bonus though, by hitting from behind. Something you can ensure if you throw a Pokeball or other item past the side of a creature, wait for them to turn around and then throw again at their back. Throwing a Pokemon from behind will put them in a startled, unaware state too, letting you get the first hit in during combat, which is essential against the oversized alpha variants. Lastly, for those relying on the left button lock-on before throwing, try learning to free aim throw from further away. Many Pokemon get hella skittish the closer you get, and though there is a max throw distance, sometimes there's just not any tall grass, and you're better off arcing a throw in from way outside their detection radius instead. Number 8. Release Pokemon for Grit Gravel Talk to any hardcore Pokemon fan and they'll bring up IVs and EVs, individual values and effort values. For the longest time, these were essentially background stats that would govern various parts of a Pokemon's abilities. Now though, they're combined into a creature's effort level, which you can see by going on its summary and hitting R until a big graph appears. Covering HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, etc., you can get grit gravel by releasing caught Pokemon back at base camp or in the Jubilife Village paddock. Grit Gravel can be used directly on these parts of a Pokemon to raise their effort level, making clearer something that's been in the background for far too long and letting you put together the most powerful team possible. Number 7. How to get more inventory space The Galaxy Hall in Jubilife Village is where you'll rank up star levels to command higher level Pokemon and check in with various other story characters. It can be super easy then to wander right past Baggin, a character at the foot of the stairs who looks like every other guard stationed there, but who actually unlocks more inventory space. For a price. Going up incrementally each time you ask him for an additional inventory tile, Legends Arceus has a ton of items you'll pick up and combine across your travels. It's a bit reminiscent of how initially limiting Breath of the Wild's inventory was before you had enough Korok seeds, but at least here you know exactly where to go. Each time you talk to Baggin after improving space, he'll bump up the price. I'm on two and a half grand for another tile as I record this. Number 6. New clothing gets added after every mission. A much more robust clothing system is the order of the day in Pokemon Arceus, and there are a few things to take note of. First up, if you're on a Switch that has saves for Pokemon Let's Go, Pokemon Sword or Shield, or Pokemon Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl, talk to Anth who owns the clothing shop near Jubilife's main entrance and she'll give you a gift for each. Second, know that you can change clothes here rather than just in your quarters as the tutorial points out, and third is that Anth's stock gets bigger after each main story mission. Return after you've beaten Cleavor for example, and you'll be able to buy a fancy Cleavor kimono, likewise for discovering Weirdeer and plenty more. There are a lot of palette swaps here, but far more individual base components than any other Pokemon game overall. Anth will eventually ask you to take on quests to buff her stock out even more, but make a point of checking in regularly for fresh gear. Number 5. Change the day-night cycle to spawn different Pokemon Pokemon Arceus is far less Breath of the Wild than Pokemon Snap, and that means utilizing a day-night cycle to see different Pokemon behaviors and different Pokemon overall. Besides that in itself being worth knowing if you're struggling with a specific Pokedex goal, you can manually change the time of day by checking in with the Galaxy member at any camp. 
Any amount of time will heal your party, but jump from night to day or vice versa for a different set of creatures to catch. Number 4. Some Overlooked Battle Shortcuts Something I totally stumbled onto when comparing notes with other players, there's a way to speed up battling and catching even more from what's been implemented. As it stands, you'll likely be swapping Pokemon by tapping the D-pad and using Pokeballs by finding them in your inventory. Instead though, just use L or R to cycle your party and the right trigger to switch creatures. You can also hit X here to switch to Pokeballs and again the right trigger to throw without bringing up any menus. Better still, dive into the game's options and disable ZR button confirmation. This removes the are you sure pop-ups, letting you play even faster once you're confident with the new speed of play. Number 3. Look up enemy Pokemon types and statuses mid-battle. Another pointer for combat as you'll need all the help you can get taking down alpha Pokemon or finding weaknesses for bosses in general. Once in a battle, hit the plus button and you'll get a detailed readout of every lasting thing that's gone down in the fight itself to that point. Pokemon types are displayed up top, but you'll also notice which effects like burn, poison, etc. are active and if there are any fixations a Pokemon has for a specific move that can be used again for extra damage. Effectiveness and planning are more key in Arceus than ever thanks to the increased difficulty of what you can find in the open world, so take on board as much info as possible wherever you can. Number 2. Use the Map Pins If there's one thing from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Arceus takes on board other than its reveal trailer shot and parts of the score, it's DIY map design. Seen in Nintendo's 2017 opus alongside titles like Hollow Knight, again we have a map where you'll need to manually pepper it with icons and reminders of what to seek out. To do so, hit minus when out in the field and then tap A when not hovering on another icon to bring up your selection of custom pins. From a main quest marker to resource icons and a demonic Pokemon head if you need to mark an area to stay away from until you're a higher level, get to customizing your map for each area and it'll all show in the hood while you're playing. And number 1. Summon multiple Pokemon for photo opportunities Let's just end on something with a pure door factor, as what good's a Pokemon game without a handful of opportunities to drink in your custom party and your characters stood in the middle. First up, know that you can unlock more poseable photo options at the Jubilife Photo Studio by completing Daggero's side quest. Sadly, there aren't any ways to do the poses here out in the field that I've found anyway, but you can cycle through your party and throw Pokeballs at the ground one by one to get your posse out in full. Do watch out for summoning alpha Pokemon though as they will attack the others, but most of your gang will just interact. Mr. Mime, for example, pulls out an invisible chair while cracking a can open like in the Detective Pikachu movie, and all round it's a cool feature, like an updated version of Sword and Shield's Wild Area Camp animations. Pokemon Legends Arceus has a ton to offer and show fans new and old. I've been having a blast across the first 10 hours or so I've banked, and it's over to you down in the comments to sound off on any other features or secrets you've found. For now, I've been Scott from WhatCulture.com. Thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe to our range of podcasts, all available on the WhatCulture Gaming Podcast feed. Myself and Jules do the fan fueled Untitled Banter Pod every Friday. The week starts with myself and Josh on the wind-up, and we have the main show every Wednesday. For now though, thanks very much again and I'll catch you soon.